What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. So we're gonna get straight to it. Uh, we just made it to the car show here. It is 89 outside, which is nice. Uh, I wanna tell you, and this video is not gonna be like fancy editing or whatever, anything. I'm just gonna talk straight to it. Just like my car is so clean. Cleaned it, washed it. I wanna show you guys the outside. Uh, look at that. Just all clean up. I love my jeans. I love this color. This is awesome. Prescott vet set show because we just came back from Prescott last weekend. Uh, let me jump out and I will tell you what went wrong on my clutch. Uh, so the car looks clean because I washed it and it looks very, very, very clean because I spent a, like four hours washing it. Not even joke. Every wash I do is four hours. So I mean, check this out inside the wheels and everything. Tire shine, paint. So you can see me through the paint, which is, that's cool. All right, under the hood I did two. I still have fuel run monorail stickers. I just took to the sides because I like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. Under here, looks clean, obviously washed it. I just want to wash the car, I clean everything. Just, hopefully the sun, because the sun sucks. The sun, or the camera do it justice here. We'll get some montage in a second. But what went wrong is what went wrong is the clutch master cylinder, and that was not a uh, cheap fix. It was about four hundred and ten dollar for the labor because I had to drive it to the dealership. And when I was driving it to the dealership, it wouldn't go into gear in my garage, so it's like it jumps, and that wasn't fun. So. I barely got it to the dealership, so I got it to get going after 15 minutes of battling with the clutch, trying to engage it because the hydraulics of the clutch master cylinder is just not, it doesn't like, it doesn't want to put it in gear, it was very hard. So I got it going, then I was driving and at the traffic light I stopped, because it was red, and, um, and it was like 15 miles to the dealership, and I'm like, I hope it, I turned it off, people went around me, and it was just such a mess. Uh, so went through that traffic light, finally got to engage it in gear after four cars passed me. I got it into gear, I got it going, it jumped uh, because the clutch was not popping. So when I put it in gear, I have to put my feet behind the clutch to pop it so it, you can get going. And if I will stop one traffic light, I will not be able to, uh, we're gonna have to push it. There is no way. So I, whatever it was, red, it was like, yellow to red and i just went so and by the way at the dealership when i parked we couldn't we have to push it we had to push the car clutch wouldn't engage so um and it's like a whole brand new unit let me show you guys the fluid and the fluid is dirty right so the clutch fluid is dirty and i'm like i just changed it before we go to prescott it takes time for the clutch to be dirty and i open it on like dirty and i spend maybe a big bottle of dot three synthetic brake fluid to swap it and just dirty 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 and after dirty and as it was night time i gave up uh took it to the dealership and they had to do it twice uh they flushed it twice because it was really dirty that was not the problem so i paid them about 100 bucks or just under 100 bucks that wasn't the problem that did not solve my problem the problem was the clutch master cylinder which let me show you right here so uh, let me point at it. That bad boy right there. Can you see? Anyway, the clutch master cylinder. It's connects to the, uh, it's the hydraulic that pushes. See, it's fine now. Look at this. Boom. Comes back strong. The clutch, you cannot see. Let me see if I can get a light real quick. Show you the part. Nope. All right. So the clutch master cylinder, you see that gold, um, Whatever it is, the gold right there. There's only one gold, you see it right there. That's the one that connects to the clutch master cylinder, which is right there, that rubber piece, right in the corner, right there. So, I don't know, I think it's just age. 46,000 miles, 20 years, finally got worn out. Then, uh, everybody's looking at me like, what's going on? Why is this guy, why is this guy looking at stuff from his camera? Um, 
it was people was like telling me and shout out to Cordes Performance Racing because he said it first at Prescott show I asked him he said the clutch master cylinder uh, it could have been fluid fluid does that the antenna looks so sick fluid clutch master cylinder or slave cylinder so thank God was not the slave because that will be an expensive job and I will have to replace the to open like the whole bottom of the car and my when you're there might as well just replace the clutch so barely got it to the dealership I think it's time and age and no matter how many miles just gave up so let's get some montage like I said and I will see you guys the next video gonna be uh, the Corvette Prescott show um, I'm just like I don't want the car to break down because I don't want to spend money I'd rather spend money on you know modifying it rather than just fixing stuff but 20 years old Holding solid. And by the way, let's cut to the part itself because I got the part. I told them to put the part. So let's put a picture or a video, whatever I have. Let's put it, insert it right now. Alright you guys, now we're under the light here, I told them to put it in the box because I wanted to show you guys and obviously I'm not going to keep this because this is going on YouTube and it's all documented, <sighs> look at this, um, so this is the clutch master cylinder that went bad on the car and again, I don't think it's a, my abuse but uh, just 20 years old and check this out and my, yeah, my driveway just rocks but this is starting to get yellow and I like the one I got in there because it's brand new plastic so it's like white so this is even worked out even perfect I thought it was only this piece but this is ultimately the piece that failed uh, it's this one right here this the clutch hydraulic wasn't working so now we replaced it we're all good um, it was gonna be less if I like got the part online maybe had a shop do it but I need I need the car I, I cannot not have the car I drive it all the time so I'm just looks so clean right now anyway always getting out of topic uh fixed it clutch master cylinder went um, I'm glad it's not the slave so because I when you do the slave might as well you do a clutch uh, job and that will be I, I would probably put a c5 c06 clutch that's what I've been told to do uh, which is better clutch, but we will do that when the clutch goes 45,000 miles, not that much uh, We still have a lot of life left Other than that, please you guys I appreciate the support, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button That's it, weekend Friday Go to Cars and Coffee tomorrow and I will see you guys on the next one The next video is Prescott Car Show And I'm out, peace